It's November the 19th, 2023, and I'm in Corpus Christi with my brother Reuben, starting the search for a cattle tyrant, a vagrant bird from South America that's never been seen in the U.S. before. <coughs> Nasty bird-eating cats everywhere. Why wouldn't you want it in its perfectly normal natural habitat? Yeah, I know, but it's just it's <laughs> yeah. nicer to be on a plant or something that looks natural. Right. I would go for it in a field behind cows or something like a cowbird. Yeah. Well, we're launching Operation Tiger Heron. Machen Geld an. Our friends went back the next night and were able to document a mottled owl, which is only a third record for the ABA area and an incredible find. Well, it's day two of Operation Tiger Heron. I didn't sleep too well last night. There was a lot of mosquitoes and it was too warm to get deep in my sleeping bag. But um, we're back to looking for the 
Tiger heron who's hiding around her somewhere, I presume, unless it's gone back to Mexico where it came from. So we got one more day to look for it and then we're gonna have to head back. The Rio Grande is really swift. They're releasing a lot of water from Falcon Dam. There was a powerful south wind when we came down here and it was very difficult to make it against the wind. And now by the time we head back today, it's supposed to have changed to north and be even worse. So we're gonna have a swift current and a powerful north wind against us to go about the two and a half, three miles back up to where our car is. So that's gonna be interesting. Also, there is a lot of scummy weeds out here that make it difficult to paddle unless you're in the swift current. So we'll see how it goes. Well, we're back to the boat ramp. That concludes Operation Tiger Heron. No Tiger Heron found.